They launched before the sun could even rise. Over a hundred American warplanes took to the skies on a mission to strike what many thought was untouchable, Iran's most secure nuclear sites. But leading the charge were just six shadows, six invisible ghosts known as the B-2 spirits. Their destination? The heart of Iran's nuclear fortress. At a remote airbase in Missouri, the crew of a B-2 spirit goes through final checks. No cheering, no goodbyes. Just quiet nods, tense focus, and a silent understanding. This flight could reshape global power. They aren't alone. 30 cruise missiles sit silent in the tubes of US submarines waiting for the go. They'll strike from below. The bombers will strike from above. The goal? Hit all three major nuclear strongholds. At the same time, simple in theory, nightmarish in execution. B-2 bombers burn fuel like rockets and can't go the distance alone. That's where the KC-135 tankers come in, skybound fuel trucks ready to dance with giants. But even they need guardians. FA-18 growlers and super hornets escort them like knights, shielding both fuel and fire from radar, missiles, and ambush. The sky's about to get crowded. To pull this off, the US moved pieces across the globe. Some B-2s were redeployed to hidden bases in Diego Garcia. Others stood by in Qatar, Guam, Saudi Arabia, even carriers in the Arabian Sea, all perfectly positioned, not just to launch, but to survive. The clock was ticking, the entire region watched. Then the lights went green. The B-2s launched, silent, seamless, their jagged wings slicing through the night, invisible to radar, barely visible to satellites, but they were not safe. Refueling would happen mid-flight, over the Suez, over the Gulf, in total silence. As each bomber docked with a flying fuel station, Super Hornets circled overhead. One stray missile, one radar ping, and the entire strike would collapse. Meanwhile, growlers flooded the airwaves with noise. Two Iranian radar? It was as if the night screamed static. Nothing made sense. Blips appeared, vanished, reappeared somewhere else. And below, commanders waited, eyes locked on satellite feeds, ready to redirect at any flicker of light. Then came the border. Iranian airspace isn't just defended, it's booby-trapped with missile batteries, ancient fighters and early warning stations buried deep. The B-2s climbed. Every altitude change was calculated. Every turn mapped weeks before. Below, desert and mountains. Above, only silence. Their stealth skins soaked up radar signals like a black hole. And then, targets appeared. The crews had two options, launch from afar, or get closer and drop bombs manually. They chose the second, because nothing beats gravity. The B-2 opens its bay. Two monsters fall. The GBU-57s, nicknamed Earth Punchers, aren't just bombs. They're 30,000-pound kinetic drills designed to dig before they destroy. No engine, no thrusters, just fins. As they fall, they adjust their path with tiny wing shifts, guided by GPS so advanced it could find a doorway from 50,000 feet. They hit like a meteor. Engineered from ultra-dense steel, they can crash through 200 feet of concrete and soil. At the tip, double fuses. One senses gravity, the other waits just long enough then explodes. If there's a bunker underneath, it's not just breached, it's buried under the very mountain that once protected it. But not everyone was asleep. Iranian ground controllers caught a glimpse. Just a flicker. Enough to launch interceptors, MiG-29s and old F-14S. Outdated, yes. But if they got lucky, even stealth bleeds. Commanders bark orders trying to vector fighters in, but everything's jammed. Growlers flood the air with noise. Pilots can't talk. Missile locks fail. Blips vanish mid-scream. Offshore, USAWACS aircraft pick up everything. They send orders to F-18, circling just outside danger. The moment a fighter gets close, missiles fly. Iranian jets peel off or fall. The B-2s keep moving. Below, SAM sights roar to life. Missiles streak skyward but they're chasing ghosts. The B-2s leave behind flares, decoys, fake signatures. The SAMs spiral, then fizzle. 
With the targets hit, the bombers don't linger. They bank west, meet another wave of tankers. This time, F-22 Raptors join the escort, just in case. For weeks, Israel had been trying to breach those same nuclear sites. Their bunker busters couldn't make it past the surface vents. The fortifications were too deep, but now? With one clean drop, the B-2s did what seemed impossible. Natanz, Isfahan, Fordo, all hit, all dark. In a world built on secrets, sometimes it takes ghosts to rewrite the rules. We build these stories from scratch to bring you the hidden truth behind the headlines. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, because next time, you won't want to miss what flies through the dark.